Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 39. I'm in the market for a new digital camera and I think I found the one I want. Well, actually, there are three to choose from in the new Samsung line and they're as sexy looking as a Leica. The NV3 at the low end and the NV7 at the top. The look is black aluminum and the lenses make these cameras look like cameras, you know what I mean? Two and a half inch LCDs are surrounded by several buttons giving users fast and easy access to menu controls. The NV10 provides 10 megapixel resolution in VGA at 640 by 480 resolution and at 30 frames per second. Those are the specs we're currently using to shoot the brief. Did you know that? Huh? <laughs> the NV3 and NV7 both shoot 7 megapixels. The Geek Brief audience runs the gamut from hardcore uber techies to folks who aren't all that savvy. We all come together to discover what's new in tech. And those of you who don't dream in ones and zeros might not be aware, high speed internet in most of the world is nothing compared to what they have in South Korea and Japan. Their average broadband connection is 8 times faster than ours in the US. 8 times! That means the 2 to 3 minutes it takes you to download an episode of Geek Brief would drop to a maximum of 20 22 seconds. All this glorious life-changing speed is made possible by a little marvel called fiber optics and in Austin, Texas, the dream is alive. It's alive! It's alive! Is that a little too over the top? Okay. <laughs> AT&T has a new service called Uverse that bundles video, voice, and data into one glorious Glorious is an extreme exaggeration, actually. It's more lame than glorious because it's only 3 megabytes per second, but it's a start. I want 10 or more megabytes per second, but since I'm lucky to get one and a half, I would take three for a while. Once you have your broadband entertainment solution in place, you might want to check out the Hava video streamer. Now, Neil suggested I sing Hava Nagila here, but that's not happening. But I'm the producer. Yeah, but I'm the international director of the GIA, and that trumps producer. Hava, Nakila, Hava, Nakila, Hava, Nakila, do 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 do. <laughs> the Hava video streamer streams video content throughout your home network wirelessly, assuming you have Wi Fi, of course. I know, you're thinking Slingbox. It's like that, only it has a little more functionality and it looks a lot less like a gold bar painted gray. And Slingbox doesn't have Wi Fi. Video streamed within your home network on the Hava streamer is promised to be at DVD quality. Hands-on reviews aren't really my thing, but this one I'd really like to give it a try. <laughs> Sometimes I get email from someone who doesn't use Gmail and I just don't get it. I mean, it's different than how so many of you stubbornly refuse to switch to Mac. Gmail is free and totally amazing. The thing is, though, it hasn't been easy to delete spam from the Gmail spam folder. Google just fixed that with a new delete all spam messages now feature. Did you know also that you can add a plus whatever the heck ever you want to your regular email address when you have to give it to somebody? That allows you to know if a service you signed up for gave or sold your email to a spammer. As an example, you decide to buy the NV10 camera from Captain Jack's Digital Discount Camera Outlet.com. Captain Jack's gonna want your email address, isn't he? Using Gmail, you can add plus Captain Jack after your Gmail username and before the at gmail.com. If the good captain sells your address, you'll know and you can call him on it. If you don't have the new delete option in your Gmail account yet, it should show up within a few days. By the way, Captain Jack's digital discount camera outlet.com is available, and my GoDaddy.com promo code GB1 will still work for at least another three months. Wow. Wow. <laughs> For some reason, Geek Brief gets a ton of viewers who are new to the world of podcasting, and I'm always honored to hear when that happens. If you're a newcomer, you might not be aware of the history of the medium. Webcasts, both audio and video, have been around for years, but the marriage of audio or video with RSS, or really simple syndication, turned webcasting into podcasting. That innovation was first conceived by Adam Curry, former MTV VJ and all-around chic geek. Adam's mother passed away on Sunday. Our thoughts and prayers are with you, Adam. Now, I know that sucks as a tribute, but just about everything sucks as a tribute because nothing we can produce is as special as the person's life and the magic they brought into the world. I'm Callie Lewis, and my latest fortune cookie says, people are waiting for cues from you. Lead them well. See you tomorrow. Hi. I'm Callie Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> what is last holiday? With um, Queen Latifah. We have that? Should be in the mailbox. Mailbox? Did you check the mailbox? No, I'm in my underpants. You're in your underpants?
And Zach, I will totally say the name of your website on this show if you paint the Geek Brief logo on the bottom of your pool. And that goes for any of you who paint the Geek Brief logo on the top of your building for Google Maps. So, did you know that you can... Whoa. Are they going to bomb us? Another Pod Show video podcast. Stick it on your screen.